Good day everyone, it's me again Althea and welcome to another video. For today's video, as you can see from the title below, I will finally be talking to you guys about my college entrance interview experience at Cebu Normal University College of Nursing. So if you guys didn't know, I am Althea Denise Tu. I am currently a level 2 nursing student at CNUCN and so which means I took the entrance exam and the interview two years ago. So everything that I'll be sharing with you are based on experience. I'm not saying that this is what will happen or this is what you'll be experiencing once you apply to CNU this year or in the years to come since I am not a part of their faculty. <laughs> I'm just a student so this is just my experience. I'll just be sharing with you guys information based on my experience. So the interview actually you'll be doing it once you pass the entrance exam. So what happened was, I think it was a week or a few days after the list of passers for that year were posted, someone from CNUCN called me through my mobile phone, which I provided them. And then he introduced himself, of course, and asked me which date among the list of dates he gave me would I be taking the exam. I actually chose, I think, 9 to 10 a.m. And I was told to wear a formal attire. And so everything was set. I went there during the schedule of my interview. I went immediately to CNUCN office. And then when I came there, immediately after I came there, I heard someone crying. So someone was still actually interviewed at that time and she was crying. And so I was so anxious. I got so nervous that I immediately felt like crying too. So I was thinking, oh my god, would this be really that hard? Because someone was crying inside the interview room already. So yeah, that made me so nervous. So when my time came, I saw one clinical instructor. He was the one who interviewed me. But for you one, for example, he was interviewed by three. So. I can't really tell how many people will interview you once you do the interview yourself but one thing that I can say is that it depends on them, I think. So I was interviewed by one CI and the things that we talked about were of course about my application at CNU. So yes, he asked me why I wanted to go to CNU, he asked me where I heard of CNU as well, what do I think of the school, and then he also tested like my <laughs> willingness to go there, like how much do I really want to get in. I think he was trying to make me feel down or like he was really trying to see if I would really tell him that I really want to go there or if you're, I would really fight for it because what I felt that time really was that the teacher was trying to discourage me. He was trying to tell me that nursing is really hard and so we really need students that are you know very sure of their decision, won't give up because the slot is sayang diba of course you won't have to pay anything at CNU, no tuition fee, you only have to pay like the RLE fees once you go on duty and once you do skills lab, you know, you only have to pay for your books in case your CI would require that, but not all CIs would require that too. And then you also only have to pay for your uniform, so you won't really have to pay the school for your schooling. And so he was telling me that they really wanted to make sure that the student is really sure of his, his or her decision because based on experience that there were students who actually got in and then they dropped out or they stopped going to school because of problems. And then the CI asked me if my relationship with my family is okay. He was trying to see if I have a strong bond with my parents and my siblings because like he said, family Dao plays such a huge role in the student's academic um, performance. He said na, it could be that because of family problems that you would stop going to school and so he really made sure that I am okay on that part and that's where I actually cried. Yes, I did cry guys. Actually, it wasn't the CI's fault, of course it wasn't his. I'm just really a very emotional person and of course I was already so nervous. Like, I was already thinking that I would cry because someone before me already cried so I thought 
ah, maybe that's what's gonna happen. So it was just me. <laughs> so I cried because the CI asked me, um, who among my parents thou am I close with? And then I told him, I am much closer to my mom because I get intimidated, quite intimidated by my dad because when I was younger, he used to be very strict because he was a disciplinarian. And so he said, okay, so you have a problem with your dad. And I told him, no, sir, I just meant that I'm closer with my mom. I'm actually fine with my dad now. It was just before that I got scared of him because I didn't understand the way that he was trying to bring us up. Pero the CI kind of insisted that there was a problem. I think it was his way of testing how much my patience is or like if I would really fight for my answer. And so he really um, tr kind of insisted that there was a problem with my dad and I. And so that was the time that I cried because I didn't know what to say anymore. I felt like he won't believe me but that was just me to be honest it was just how I handled the situation I was just too emotional and so I cried nothing in the interview was really hard or was really supposed to make you cry unless you would <laughs> so yes my interviewer also asked me about my performance in high school and I was very pabilib I shared to him that I knew how to balance equations in chemistry my god when I think of it now I get so embarrassed I hope he doesn't remember it anymore because I was trying to impress him but one thing that I would tell you guys is like show the CI or the interviewer that you're worth it but don't be boastful don't do that <laughs> make sure you see it in a nice way and just don't say too much about yourself just don't oh my god I don't know what what's the right term but just make sure it's not too much because he might get or he or she might get the wrong idea of you so yeah that's everything that I remember from the interview I think I was asked sad more about my background and why I really wanted to be a nurse. I was asked that as well. And yeah, that's just about it. So the interview was not short, but also not too long. I think it took about 30 minutes. But to tell you guys, each interview is different because when I got into CNU already, I asked some of my classmates about their experience and they told me, like one told me that Hers was very chill and good and very random. Someone can it was asked like a question that is usually asked in pageants. Kanang very ano lang logic or like testing lang good like how you would answer a question. Of course you're gonna be asked good, why do you want to be a nurse? Why did you choose CNU? So just prepare for that. And for tips, siguro sa interview, just make sure to wear a formal attire because that is required. Come on time, of course. Don't be late. And then make sure to act professional. Don't do things that would distract your interviewer. Don't also do things that would make you look childish or uninterested or that would give your interviewer the wrong idea of you. And then what else? Just be genuine and honest. That's really it. Um, be honest about yourself. Don't say things just because you think they want to hear them from you. Okay, they will know when you're telling the truth or not. So don't be pretentious. Just be honest. Like tell them honestly why you want to go to CNU and also why do you want to be a nurse. And if you don't understand the question, don't pretend like you know it. And you know what? Just tell the interviewer to repeat or restate the question when you didn't hear it properly or if you don't understand it tell the interviewer to kindly please explain your question a bit because I honestly don't understand it sir or ma'am you know just be true to yourself don't fake it because they'll know it be respectful of course 
So have the right manners. Express yourself in a respectful manner because of course you are the interviewee and your interviewer is someone who is much older than you that will be your future CI and in order to gain his respect you have to respect him or her first so that be respectful and then be confident but don't go overboard so you know share your achievement as much as you want let them know that you're a good student or uh, you have a good personality or you have good grades but make sure to say it in a nice way where you won't sound boastful because eh, that's bati. <laughs> that would make you look bad and that would make them think now you're only maybe good academically but you don't have the right attitude so there definitely as much as you can try to show them that you're really interested in the school let them know that you really want to get in because that's your chance of letting them know how much you really want to be there because the interview is there for them to know you better also the I don't forget to prepare for the interview that is very very important like what I did before for my three interviews for Vela, CDU, and CNU is that I prepared. So what I did was I searched on the internet what are the common questions that are asked in college admissions and even job interviews because you're not sure man good what questions you'll be asked but then it's nice to know what are the common ones and then you could try answering them. Okay. Important kay na siya because when you try answering them like you will have an idea na what to say first or if taas ra ba imong answer or mubo ra ba or what things you need to practice pa so practice you know makes perfect the ba what i did good kay i answered the questions in front of the mirror and then i tried answering the questions to the best of my ability and i think they're really helpful kay most questions are kay about yourself ana and those are actually included good in most interviews like Unsa imohang motto in life, or something like that, or what do you really believe in, like stuff about yourself, and also why do you really want to study this, or why do you want to get in, because that's what the interview is for. So, there, I think one of the best tips is to practice so that you could also practice how you speak. I hope this is helpful, and I hope I didn't bore you out. I'm sorry if I speak this way. I know I still need to practice more with my communication skills okay I'm all over the place I know that so forgive me for that but thank you so so much for watching this video if you did like it please do like this video you may also subscribe to my channel we're already at 750 plus so thank you so much guys it means so much to me that you all are supporting my videos my content and it means so much to me too that I have actually been helpful to you guys through my other video which is about my college entrance examination experience at Cebu Normal University I am very overwhelmed with your support uh, there have been so many comments and views we're actually already almost at 1500 views now and yeah, there, if you haven't watched it yet, I'm gonna link the video down below or you could click this video. I don't know where it is, here or here. <laughs> I will attach it somewhere here so you could check it out too. There, thank you so, so much. And I'll make sure to upload more nursing related videos soon because I have noticed that you guys are liking it. Again, thank you so, so much. I hope you're doing well. Please stay safe. God bless you always. And I hope to see you at campus soon once everything gets better. Bye-bye. See you in my next video.